This war is going to end soon, and unfortunately so may the Grand Alliance that won it. Ike's going to let the Soviets into Berlin first, and once that happens, everything will change. The spoils of this war are not going to be land or riches, but scientific research. The Germans have a huge head start in jet propulsion and rocketry, technology that's going to change the world we live in. This mission that you begin today is why you were brought into the OSS. It's been in the planning stages since before D-Day, since before I even knew your name. Lieutenant, you're being sent back into Germany one last time on a mission that just may determine the fate of the free world. 150 miles southwest of Berlin lies the Hartz Mountain Range. Buried deep inside it is the nordhausen Mittelwerk plant, where the Nazis have been building their rockets ever since the Pienemunde raid in 43. The facility is run by the SS, and the toughest of the Waffen divisions are stationed there. The Germans consider the V2 program their last hope, and they'll protect it at all costs. We need to learn everything the Germans know, and bluntly, we can't let the Soviets find out. Your mission is to turn their own terror weapon against them, capture their research, analyze it the best you can, then use it to destroy the facility. I've been told that luck is when opportunity meets preparedness. If that's the case, Lieutenant, I wish you all the luck in the world. I hope to see you back in London soon.
This rare color footage captured by the Allies shows the early days of the German V-2 rocket program. Capable of hitting targets as far away as London, these so-called vengeance weapons were of great interest to the High Command. One can only imagine the devastation if the Nazis had succeeded with their heavy water research and perfected an atomic warhead. Just as the ME-163 had ushered in the jet fighter, the V-2 heralded the beginning of the missile age the implications of which would carry through to all the generations of mankind to follow.
General Eisenhower informs me that the forces of Germany have surrendered to the United Nations. The flags of freedom fly all over Europe.